everyone welcome back um one thing i forgot to mention in the last video is your tail end from your tail you need to weave in through your work to get rid of that end now you can spend a bit more time than i just have <laughs> ensuring it's securely woven in i am just chucking it through just to get shot of this tail end but obviously you take a little bit more care than i just did weaving in that end all right so now it is time to make the little tail fin for your permade also can we just take a moment to see the difference in size <laughs> that double knit and chunky makes <laughs> i'm making a monster here so we're going to make this little tail fin. So I'm just going to move this big girl to the side for now. She can go a little bit over there. And with the same yarn that you used to make the tail, we're now going to make the fin. Okay, tail fin time. We are first of all going to make nine foundation single crochet stitches. Now, if you don't know how to make foundation single crochet I do have a video for that which will have either popped up as a little card up here or I've got the link in the description box below so I'm going to assume you know how to do foundation single crochet at this point so go ahead and do nine foundation single crochet stitches So I've got my nine foundation single crochet and you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to be working into the back loop only and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So for the second row, we're going to just do single crochet, nine stitches all the way along, but the back loop only. So don't go under your Vs, just go into this back loop of the stitch here. chain one and turn. Now you are going to do a row of just seven single crochet. So you're going to leave the last two stitches unworked into the back loop again seven times. chain one and turn same again back loop only seven single crochet chain one and turn. Now for this row, you're going to do five single crochet. So again, leave the last two stitches unworked. Back loop only, five single crochet. Chain one and turn. Now you are going to slip stitch under the next three stitches. 
So under both loops, just go ahead and slip stitch under the next three stitches. Then grab your scissors. We're going to cut the yarn, but leave yourself a generous tail for sewing to your permaid. Let's pull the yarn up and out like that. And that is your first little part of the fin complete. Now you need to make another one of these little side fins. However, once you have done your three slip stitches, do not cut your yarn. I will meet you back at this point here. So you go ahead and repeat those rows for the second side of the tail fin, but don't cut your yarn and I'll meet you back here once you've done your third slip stitch. Okay, so I have finished my second tail fin. My yarn is still attached to the ball and I've just done my third slip stitch. Now, grab your first one that you did, place them together, and you're going to slip stitch the last two stitches together. So put your hook underneath the next stitch of the fin you are working on and underneath the corresponding stitch. Oh, make sure you get your yarn out of the way. <laughs> and then you're going to slip stitch them together. Same again on that very last stitch. and just slip stitch them together. Then chain one, leave a long tail again, snip that off, pull that through, pull it tight, and you have your little tail fin with an awful lot of ends. So now we're going to shape this fin and sew it to our permade tail. So the first thing, your tail, from the third slip stitch on your first fin. Grab a large eye needle. And we're going to just run this up through, just popping it through and out at the top, just up here, so that both these ends are together. Then your ends from your foundation single crochet, thread those onto the needle. And keeping these ones out of the way, let me just move those ones out of the way for a minute. This you're going to pop through the top join. Oops, just sort of Stick it through. Do the same with your other tail from the foundation single crochet. And pop it through at the same place. Remember to keep these, these two out of the way. <laughs> There's a lot of tail ends at this point. So these are my foundation single crochet tails, which I have just popped through. You can pull them all the way to the back, which sort of shapes the tail fin, and then tie these securely in a knot. I'm quite tying them quite tightly. So now you have little shaped mermaid tail. Now you're going to use these ends from where you finished the round. These are what are going to sew to this part of the tail. Now the way, let me, I'm just going to raise this up slightly because quite tricky to show you. Actually, let me show you on one of my original permades first. 
you're going to sew down the sort of side oh cat hair sew down the side can you see how that's attached so you're going to sew down the sort of first few rows of the tail itself so you may want to grab some pins to pin it in place but I'm going to be sewing each side this section here along that side and then that section there along that side so I'm going to raise up the camera a little bit I'm going to sew mine I'll speed up the footage so you don't have to just sit and watch me sewing for the next 10 minutes So once you're happy with the placement of the tail, um, the tail fin, I've been a bit rough and ready with mine, so feel free to take a little bit of extra care. You can see I've sort of sewn it down there. Don't worry too much about this thread showing because we're going to cover this one up in a second. But I've taken both these ends, which I've attached my tail fin to. I've thread them out through the same hole. I'm going to give them a little tiny quick knot inside make sure they are secure and then I'm going to hide that further in and down through the tail now the same for your other two ends go ahead and weave them in I'm going to use one of these just to cover up that yellow obvious stitch there Okay, that is your tail fin attached. So you can finally swim away. Next up, ears, paws, and her face. Nearly there, people, nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> 